King Charles will never shut the door on Harry, a commentator believes. The Duke of Sussex has launched a series of blistering criticism and allegations against the royal family and its prominent members in recent interviews and his memoir, titled Spare. Nevertheless, a PR expert believes it is unlikely King Charles will shun his second son but rather, he will let it known he still cares about him. Andy Barr, PR expert and CEO at Public Relations and Social Agency 10 Yetis, told Express. Co.uk In light of the Duke's recent interviews, at first the general train of thought was that Prince Harry was after some form of closure, similar to therapy via public declarations, but the reality is now abundantly clear, he is using public relations tactics perfectly in order to sell a book. He has sold the family gold and it will be incredibly hard to find a way back fully into the fold. Whilst the king will be making it clear, via mutual acquaintances and royal backchannels that he will never shut the door on Harry, the revelations could well have been a step too far for William. Mr. Barr isn't the only commentator to think Charles won't shun his younger son. King Charles will not shun Prince Harry, a commentator believes, image, Getty, CBS Prince Harry said in recent interviews he loves his father and his family, image, Getty. Appearing on GB News on Tuesday, royal author Katie Nichol told Eamon Holmes, I think the king wants ultimately a reconciliation. I think he is a magnanimous man as well, he will take a leaf out of his mother's book, I think there will be an invitation, to the coronation, that Olive Branch will be extended because he is still his son and I am told, despite all of this, he loves his son. Since Sunday evening, Prince Harry has appeared in multiple sit-down interviews to promote his book, released worldwide on Tuesday. Among the most astonishing claims made by the Duke was the allegation the Prince and Princess of Wales didn't get on with Meghan from the get-go. Also during his interview with ITV's Tom Bradby, the royal claimed he experienced a really horrible reaction from his family members in the wake of the death of Queen Elizabeth II. Speaking with Anderson Cooper for the CBS 60 Minutes program, Harry also made claims regarding the relationship between Queen Camilla and the press, claiming to want to rehabilitate her image in the early 2000s made her dangerous. Read more, six claims made by Harry refuted as one is proven completely untrue King Charles has two sons, William and Harry, image, Getty, King Charles has been described as magnanimous by a commentator, image, Getty, five jaw-dropping moments from Prince Harry's back-to-back -back weekend of interviews Prince Harry has unloaded a host of new explosive allegations against the royal family. Prince William, King Charles III and Camilla, the Queen Consort, all featured in his interviews with 60 Minutes and ITV. The Royal has embarked on media rounds as the world anticipates his book spare. From branding Queen Camilla as dangerous to the last time Harry spoke with Prince William, here are the top five moments from the Duke of Sussex interviews. Explaining what he meant, the Duke said, because of the connections that she was forging within the British press. And there was open willingness on both sides to trade of information. On Monday morning, the Duke also appeared on ABC's Good Morning America, where he told Michael Strahan he doesn't think it possible a return of him and Meghan to the royal family as its working members. Nevertheless, he added, there was something in the future where, you know, we can continue to support the Commonwealth that of course is on the table. But Harry, whose latest interview was aired on Tuesday night as he appeared on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, also had reconciliatory words for his family. Asked by Mr. Bradby whether he loves King Charles, Harry replied, first love my father. 
I love my brother. I love my family. I all, will always do, don't miss Prince Harry's claims of Camilla planting stories shut down, expert, ITV viewers shaking with rage and switch off Harry interview, report, Prince Harry writes of secret sexcapade with Meghan in Soho House, insight, Prince Harry was interviewed by Stephen Colbert on Monday, image, CBS, trending nothing of what I've done in this book or otherwise has ever been to any intention to harm them or hurt them. The truth is something that I need to rely on. Similarly, he told Mr. Cooper, I really look forward to having that family element back. I look forward to having a relationship with my brother. I look forward to having a relationship with my father and other members of my family. Mr. Barr doesn't believe the King or the Prince and Princess of Wales need to issue a response to Harry despite the uncomfortable claims he has recently made. He said, the royal family are saying so much, simply by saying absolutely nothing at all. Harry has become the trivia and noise that the royals have become accustomed to ignoring all of their lies. The firm is yet to respond to any of Harry's allegations.